It's Mrs. Edge. I'm with Mr. Motley, and today we're going to talk about his time capsule. And within his time capsule, he has evidence that will help us understand author's assertions, or author's claims, or relevant information. So here we go. Mr. Motley. Say hello, Mr. Motley. Oh, Mr. Motley. Hey, Wildcats. How we doing? Oh. Oh, we're doing fine. It's great. Okay. So, Mr. Motley, we have something. I went to your mom's house, and when I went there, I found a time capsule. And inside the time capsule is... Wait, wait, wait. You went to my mom's house? Your mom's house out in Edna. And inside her house, you know in that, that big um, chest behind the couch? Yeah, in, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is where I found it. Did you see my Letterman jacket in there? I did. Okay, cool. I did. I'm going to push that aside because that just didn't... Um, interest me but this this interests me a the time, time capsule, capsule. Oh, yeah my goodness. give me this i remember right. this here we go I'm a little unsure what we're gonna find in here so mr motley i'd like you or today we're really talking about author's assertions and author's claims and and as you open up the time capsule i want you to pull one item out at a time and i want you to tell me what you were thinking when you put that in your Time capsule. Okay, Miss Edge, but I'm not so sure what all's in my time capsule. Have you forgotten? Might might have been some things that slipped my mind, but let's let's see what we got. All right, here we go. All right. Oh well, here, here, here. You can't forget this guy. <laughs> I mean, the the bling right here, just so soft. My goodness, flopsies. I even kept a tag for uh So why did you put that in there? Well it's a collector's item. Oh a collector's item. Uh, notice the tag here. Uh -huh. It's a flopsy, you know. And they're being filled full of fun. Um it's hard not to want more than one, you know. Um this particular flopsy is the Queen version. The Queen of England back in nineteen ninety three had a dog just like this. So that's how Flopsy got put in my box here. Okay, so the claim as the creator, or the, the creator of the time capsule, your evidence is just that you want to keep it for maybe to sell it later. Could be, you know, collector's items like Flopsy, um, you know, it's time stamped, it's dated, it helps me remember a time whenever I was a younger guy, but also, um, yeah, it could be something that could be worth some moolah later on. Moolah! Cha-ching! Cha-ching. Okay, go ahead and pull out another ev piece of evidence. Oh, man. How could I forget this? What is it? Well, this is a cup. Um, this is a cup. Whenever I was, I don't know, fourth grade maybe, I learned it at, at camp. A, a, a counselor did a trick where they put a rock in their ear and made it come out of their mouth. So when I went to school, I thought I could recreate the same thing. So I put the rock in my ear and it got stuck there. So I had to go to the nurse and she got tweezers, pulled out of my ear, put it in this little cup, folded it up and sent it home to my parents in my backpack. So I kept the little cup. Nice. So it's just a memory of a time that you thought you could do something but really couldn't. Exactly. Turns out there was more to the magic trick than I knew. Um, clearly the person who taught me didn't actually put a rock in their ear and have it come out of their mouth. It's a sleight of the hand, you know, so. Right there on the flopsy. Flopsy. All right. Let's Item see number what else two. We got. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's a letter from my dog. <laughs> oh, flea bag. That old rascal. Would you like me to read the letter from I my dog? I would love for you okay, to read that. Okay, here, here, here we go. Dear whoever finds my letter. Come on, Fleabag. It's Fleabag, your dog here. And I wanted Clark. I wanted Clark took me for a long walk in the morning and gave me breakfast. That was nice of Clark. He even scratched me behind my left ear. 
That made me happier than chasing a cat. I wanted to bring to your attention that your son, Clark, is a really good boy. He has gotten good grades and helped take out the trash. Some might say he is the best son in the world. If he happens to want a bike, you should really think about getting him a bike. Love, your dog, Fleabag. Okay, so why do you think you kept that? Well, I, I kept this because, really, I'm the one that wrote it. Oh. I wrote it, and my parents found it so that I could get a bike. I think I was about nine years old, and I mm -hmm. wanted a new bike because the one I had was kind of kitty. And so I thought it was pretty clever the way I went about letting my parents know how awesome I was and that I should get a bike. So within that letter, there's a lot of written words. Would you say that you had an author's claim, as even though we know the dog didn't really write it, sure, you wrote it. Sure. What were you trying to get across to the reader? What Um, well, you know, the different lines have different meanings. For instance, right here you have, that made me happier than chasing a cat. I wanted them to know that the dog was happy and that I, Clark, made the dog happy. So I was trying to express in that sentence that I made the dog happy. Um, then if, if they weren't picking up on it yet, the next line says, I wanted to bring to your attention that your son, Clark, is a really good boy. I mean, here, I'm kind of just spelling it out for dear old mom and dad. Clark's awesome. Get him a bike. Um, so that was my intent there. Um, you know, and then I just go on to kind of say, he's got good grades, help takes out the trash. And I'm probably laying it on pretty thick with the some might say he's the best son in the world. But when you're going for a bike and you're nine years old, you really want to lay it on thick. So, um... You know, and again, if he happens to want a bike, you should really think about getting him a bike. In case they miss the hint at what I'm trying to get there, I wanted to really drive that one home. All right. And I saved it. Just kind of a clever little note. The dog wrote my parents.